Hi, I'm Gatori and I come bearing tea. Leo tuna pika, pineapple peel tea. Yes, you heard right. We are making tea with pineapple peels. So, full disclosure, this is not my recipe. I learned of this a few months ago. It's majorly done in the Caribbean. I've seen Jamaicans do it, making tea with pineapple peels. Yes pineapple peels so it's a simple recipe it's more of I'm showing you a how to uh, for my recipe I've used a combo of ginger cinnamon and cloves on other occasions I've also used cardamom I've thrown in some mint leaves I've added some lemongrass sometimes squeezing in some fresh lemon juice when it's done so essentially as long as you have your pineapple peels and water you're good to go so let's serve tea we're going to need pineapple, fresh ginger, cinnamon sticks, cloves, and water. The key thing to remember here is to thoroughly clean your pineapple and your ginger. We are working with the peels of both of these things. So using a cleaning brush, brush and scrub it clean and then you rinse it well and then we'll be ready to start. So we'll start with peeling the pineapple. So just using a sharp knife, Remove the ends. Then I, for ease of peeling, I love cutting my pineapple in half. This pineapple is so juicy. Love cutting it in half, then go like this. So add the peels into the area. So you might wonder, what do you do with the actual pineapple now that you've already used the peels? You can juice the pineapple with some fresh mint to make some uh, pineapple, mint pineade. Yes, mint pineade. Uh, you can make pineapple crumble. I actually have a crumble recipe. You can check that out. You can snack on the pineapples. Yeah, the possibilities are endless don't forget to also add the core of the pineapple so add that in so as for me i'll just cube up the pineapple pieces i'll use them in a crumble recipe so yeah so essentially this is it so as i've told you this recipe from it's not my creation i've i realized it's pretty common in the caribbean so I've even seen uh, videos on Jamaican pineapple peel tea. So this is not something new. It's just something that I enjoy drinking here at home. Yes. And if you don't have enough pineapple peels, you can just, once you peel your pineapple, you can store the peels in the freezer. And then once you've sort of build up stock, you can make the pineapple tea. the rest this pineapple is rather juicy the small pieces for me mm. wow it's delicious the pineapple I'm using people from the market told me it's from Gatondo yeah, so once you're done take the ginger Remember, this ginger of mine is cleaned. I scrubbed it clean, so that's why I'm just leaving the peels on. So my husband loves slightly grinding up the ginger. He usually says this helps to release all the ginger goodness. So... Let me just follow suit. We add that in. So once the pineapple, the ginger is in, I go in with my cloves, my cinnamon, then enough water to cover. So like I'll need to add another jug full, enough water to just cover. Then we'll go to the stove top and I'll talk to you through the next step.
So the most difficult part of this recipe is actually the peeling of the pineapple. So I've just put it on the stove top with just cold water. This is on high heat. I want to bring this to a boil. So once it boils, I'll reduce the heat and then let it simmer for 45 minutes to an hour. Yes, yeah, so this is a tea. We want to get all the goodness of the pineapple from the peel. So yes, bring it to a boil, then reduce heat and let it simmer gently for 45 minutes. Since it's come to a boil, so reduce the heat to a gentle simmer. Then I'll cover and let that simmer for 45 minutes to one hour. I said the cutting of the pineapple is the hardest part. Actually, the hardest part is waiting the 45 minutes. See you in 45. So as the pineapple tea is bubbling away, I'm going to show you how to make a simple syrup uh, for sweetening the tea easily. So that's some um, sugar. So you're going to use equal parts sugar and equal to water. So just tear, so about 150. So I'm just using volumetric. Let's see. Okay, slightly over, but that's fine. So we're going to put this on the stove top and let the sugar dissolve and then we'll have our syrup. It's not a must to use sy syrup to sweeten. You can use honey or you can choose to drink it as is. So here it is. So I'll keep swirling or stirring until the sugar dissolves and our simple syrup will be done. It's been 45 minutes. Here's our tea. So look how beautiful it has gotten some nice tint. So we'll sieve this, then we'll give it a taste. And there you have it, pineapple peel tea. So you can drink it hot, warm, chilled, iced. I particularly love it chilled. So you can choose to sweeten it or not. And if you're sweetening it, you can use honey or you can use a simple syrup like I've shown you to make. Uh, the reason I'm using the syrup as opposed to just sugar, it, the syrup dissolves better in liquids and especially if you're having it chilled. So, and something point to note, also depending on the type of pineapple you use, especially if you use like the Kampala ones, the long pineapples, they tend to be extra sweet, so you may not need to sweeten it. So let's give this a taste. so refreshing the ginger just hits you the subtle tones of the cinnamon and the cloves so far off this tea is just magnificent let me just tell you guys i've been buying pineapples or rather we've been buying pineapples in this house just because of the tea even there are days we go with, like days on end, the fridge has the pineapple itself cut up, but we're just making the tea. You should totally try this. And what I've shown you is just the how-to. It's not so much a recipe because you work with various ingredients. If you want to add some mint leaves as you're simmering the tea, well and good. There are times I also add some lemongrass and wait for this guys. If you want a kick, you can also add a dash of cayenne to this. Delicious. So I do hope you do try to make this tea. And if you do, do tag me on uh, Instagram. I'd love to know Pika. Otherwise, for me, Gatueri, Kwaheri.